What's up everybody and welcome to another In Herbie's World. And as you can see, I got a theme going. I got all my Samus figures out, especially my Figma Samus and both of my World of Nintendo's Jack Pacific Samuses and they look ultra awesome. And you're probably wondering why I got a theme going for Samus. It's because I got a new figure of Samus. And it's the one that I've had a hard time trying to find and someone actually gave me a tip of where to find it. And I finally found it thanks to that person. I forgot what their name was. Uh, I'll probably thank them later in a private message. <laughs> but here you go. I found this figure. Yes, I found this one. If you're wondering what figure this is, this is a Samus exclusive metallic paint Samus. And this one was actually exclusive for Geekbox, I think it was. I'm not sure if it was Geekbox or some other subscription box. But I actually got this one through Amazon and it was only $20, which I'm super psyched about. And I know that I told you guys that I'm not a big fan of collecting variants, but this is totally different. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look at the box art. And it's pretty much the same like just about every other Figma Samus. The only thing that's different is gonna be the metallic paint and the sticker that's on it that says exclusive metallic paint. And let's go ahead and look at the back. And again, it's just the same thing. <laughs> and I got all these figures basically. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. All right, guy, did I just say guy? <laughs> She's a woman. Ugh. Let's go ahead and open it up. I'm so excited, guys. All right. Ugh. We all know what this is. That's gonna be the little ball thing. And is there little strings holding her back? I don't think there is. I think I should be able to just, wait, hold on. There's little strings holding her back. <laughs> right there on her foot. What are, where else? Uh, probably her arms. All right, so jump cut. And I'm telling you, this had to have been the hardest figure for me to take out of the packaging. It took me like five minutes. <laughs> I know five minutes doesn't sound like a long time, but for me it's an eternity, especially when I'm trying to take out a figure. It seems that the plastic piece that was stuck on this and on this arm, it was just like really stuck on there. So I had to get a stronger knife than the one I already had. But yeah, I gotta say this figure is totally awesome. Let's go ahead and 360 her. Wow, the paint job that they did on this one is really awesome. I think the only spots that they did a paint job on was basically her legs, her center area, her gun, and I think they didn't do any kind of like metallic paint on her head part, but we'll check that out in a bit. So let's go ahead and up closer to see it even in even more detail. As you can see, the paint job is really awesome. And as I said before, I think it's just the red part that wasn't put into a metallic kind of color. The green though, it is in the metallic color, the same as this metallic color right here. And her hand, I think, articulates. Let me see. Nope, it does not. <laughs> I thought it did. Uh, for some reason, I thought it did. I thought in my other figures, they did. Well, actually, I think they do. Well, we'll check that out in a bit, like I said. Let's go ahead and 360 again so we can see it even better. Let's see if the thrusters have any kind of color. Nope, I think it's just a plain black. Yep. But the metallic on her shoulders looks awesome. The same with the metallic on this side of her body looks really good. I like that metallic green. The same thing with the metallic green on her calves. It looks really nice and on her legs as well or her feet. I'm always going to be a big fan of her blaster. Her blaster looks totally awesome. And I'm still a huge fan of her armor. Her shoulder pads, they look really good. <laughs> I don't know why I like her shoulder pads so much. I think it's just because they're gigantic and round. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna compare this Samus with the other Samuses that I have. And here goes the regular Samus. So let's go ahead and see if her actual hand articulates. No, it did not. I don't know why I thought it did. <laughs> but as you can tell, as I said before, it looks like that reddish color is just basically the same. And as I said before, this is actually a metallic green right here on her visor. And this one's just like a neon green. As the packaging says, it's just a different paint job. The mold itself is pretty much the same as you can tell. There's nothing really different. I actually thought that the thruster on this one was a little bit bigger, but it's actually the same size. So let's go ahead and compare this one with the purple one. And again, it's just different paint jobs. They look pretty much the same, except for the visor on this one is a neon blue. Let's go ahead and look at the back side. Yep, the same thing again. I don't know why I keep on thinking the thruster on this one looks a little bit bigger. It might be my imagination, but you guys let me know if you guys think that the thruster is a little bit bigger. But yeah, it might be my imagination. <laughs> now I'm going to compare this Samus with my Figma Samus. And I got to say that they both look pretty awesome. I love the metallic colors on both of them, but I'm always going to go with my Figma Samus. She looks amazing and her articulation points are even better on this one. But I'm not going to take anything away from this one. This one looks totally awesome. 
And we all know what's in this thing. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Da -da -da. Uh, oh, cool. It is in a metallic form. Let's go ahead and compare this one to the other metallic from Figma Samus. And yeah, this one is a little bit like duller in color. And this one's a little bit more of a metallic sheen. But they still look totally awesome. This one's like a reddish right here. This one's more of a green and a burgundy color. But all in all, they still look pretty awesome. So there you go, guys. Another awesome figure from the world of Nintendo and Jack's Pacific. The exclusive metallic paint Samus from Metroid. And I gotta say, I really like the paint job that they did on this one. So she's probably gonna be my favorite variant from the three that I have right here. But like I said, I'm not gonna take anything away from the other two. I really like the regular one and I like the purple variety suit one, or I think that was the gravity suit one. I'm not sure, I think it was the gravity suit. <laughs> yeah, I like the metallic paint on this one. They did a really good job with it, especially with the blaster. I like that metallic green. It looks really awesome. And especially with her morph ball form ball, it looks really cool and it's definitely a metallic color on it. And the Figma figure and the metallic paint Samus, they look really identical. The only difference is that the Figma Samus has more articulation points and she's a lot taller, <laughs> obviously, as you can tell. So yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, feel free to do so. And as always, guys, thanks for your support and I'll see you guys later.